Welcome back to Decentralized News. Today we want to look at uh, OpenSea, which is an NFT platform that is uh, operated by Ozon Networks Inc., uh, a company that's uh, actually regulated by the US Security and Exchange Commission and it's incorporated in the state of Delaware. So OpenSea was actually founded by uh, uh, Devin Fenzer and Alex Atler. Uh, before that, uh, uh, Fenzer worked at uh, Pin Interest as a software engineer and uh, started a company that was actually acquired by uh, Credit Karma in the end. And Atala uh, also worked at Palantir, uh, which is uh, run by uh, Peter Thiel. And I uh, sold his previous company to Bitport as well before uh, co-founding OpenSea. So what is this uh, OpenSea marketplace? It's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for digital goods. And uh, this includes digital art, uh, collectibles, gaming items, other digital assets that are backed on uh, by blockchain such as Ethereum. And on OpenSea, if you're a user, you're able to buy, sell, and trade any of these items with anyone anywhere around the world. And according to OpenSea themselves, uh, they're currently the largest general marketplace for user-owned digital goods uh, with the broadest set of categories and the most items and the best prices for new categories of items as well. So it's a decentralized uh, NFT marketplace. Uh, trading on OpenSea happens through smart contracts. So this means that there's no central authority acting as a digital asset custodian. Instead, uh, users store items in their wallet of choice, whether that's a mobile wallet like Coinbase or a Web3 wallet, uh, or even an in-browser extension such as uh, MetaMask as well. So how does this uh, platform actually work? So. OpenSea in itself is an uh, administrative platform that facilitates trade among uh, a diverse uh, community of buyers and sellers. You can find uh, hundreds of different projects on the platform, including uh, trading card games like uh, Gods Unchained, to collectible games like uh, Axie Infinity and CryptoKitties, uh, to digital art uh, projects such as uh, Super Ray and uh, Maker's Place. Uh, to even name systems like uh, ENS uh, or the Ethereum name service. So what's great about uh, OpenSea is that it pretty much uh, de democratizes uh, access. So if you're not a developer, but you'd still like to mint uh, some items, you don't need to stress, you know, you can simply use their minting tool and uh, utilizing that uh, user friendly, uh, those user friend friendly tools actually can, uh, you can actually create uh, collections of NFTs for free without needing to write uh, any lines of code at all. And uh, as a user, you only actually need to fill out the details like names and descriptions and uh, uh, OpenSea actually handles the rest. In addition, you know, there are no fees for minting NFTs, which is great considering the high gas uh, prices on popular blockchain networks such as Ethereum. Uh, so if you're a user, you can actually sell without paying uh, gas as well uh, if you have uh, an initialized uh, OpenSea account. So yeah, make sure you check out uh, the link in the description to the full detailed uh, review of uh, OpenSea where uh, you can also see the visual uh, of how you can uh, pretty much uh, either uh, get onto the marketplace through your Web3 wallet or your uh, MetaMask example and uh, it's all visual there for you check out the link in that description and uh, also uh, if you go to our resources tab we've got a pretty much a comprehensive list of uh, nft uh, platforms uh, that you can also check out we've reviewed several of them on our main site so you can uh, check those out until next time i like share subscribe uh, turn on the notification bell and if you've got any other platforms that you'd recommend uh, that we look into and you would like us to review, just uh, leave a comment. And uh, until next time, peace and love. Yeah.